Hi, and thanks for joining. One of the first things that you should do once you have your account is update your profile with your contact information and call to action. Be sure to double check spelling, punctuation, and spacing in these fields as the information you type will automatically display on most marketing pieces. Your call to action is very important. It's critical to creating the right leads and for getting a return on your marketing investment. Now more than ever, every dollar you spend in marketing is important and needs to produce a result. You should make sure you let the recipients of your marketing know what you expect them to do and what they'll get in return. You may be thinking, how do I create a call to action? Well, here are some guidelines. Ensure you can deliver on what you're promising and make sure it holds enough value to get someone to act now. Determine your goal. What is it that you're trying to do? Get leads for long-term relationship building? Find buyers? Get listings? Establish that you have something of value to offer. Remind them that you are that person to deliver that value. Encourage them to act. For example, call me, refer me, visit my website and tailor your call to action so that it appeals to your target audience. In this example, I used Call Me Today for all of your real estate needs. Next, you're able to display an equal housing logo, a realtor logo, a disclaimer, or an unbranded disclaimer on your marketing pieces by checking the radio box to the right of each description. When sending emails to customers and prospects, you can display up to two social networking icons with your email signature. Simply go to one of the four social networking sites, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or LinkedIn, copy the URL from your profile page, and paste it into the appropriate URL area of the My Profile section in your account. Be sure to select the corresponding description to the right of the URL space. Next, click Save Profile to save the changes you've made. Your email signature will look like this. In this example, I used Facebook and Twitter. The next thing we want to do is upload our personal photo in the Photo 1 space. Simply click on the Change Image button. Click Upload Image. Select Browse to get your image. Click on the image of choice and select Open. Next we want to title our image something that we'll remember in the future. and click Upload Image. A message box will display informing us that our new image has been uploaded and we must click on Save Profile in order to use this image. Click OK. And Save Profile. Remember, all images we upload must be in a JPEG format. If at any time you'd like to remove this image, simply click on the Remove button. Let's click Cancel to cancel this action. When uploading your photo, keep in mind that the consumer doesn't care about how cute your dog is or that you like antique cars. Consumers care about their needs, their wants, and their likes. Don't send out marketing that is more about you than your audience. Get a professional headshot. Wear a suit or a business casual top. And make sure your photo's current. Follow the same steps for uploading your logo in the Photo 2 space. Note, this feature may not be available to you if you have a corporate account as we've already preloaded your logo. If you already uploaded your image and simply want to change it, click on the Change Image button. Next, select the radio button to the left of the image name and click Use Image. 
your new image will automatically populate in the Photo 2 space. You're also able to upload a bulk mail stamp. You should work with your local post office to obtain a digital image. When you upload a bulk mail stamp, it will automatically upload to all self-mailing pieces. Finally, ensure all information in your profile is error-free as most fields will automatically populate any marketing material you send out via email or direct mail. Not all profile fields will be displayed on all marketing materials. Be sure to review all marketing pieces prior to use. When you've completed these steps, click on Save Profile. A message box will display informing you that your profile has been saved. Click on OK. And that completes this tutorial. Thanks for joining.